All right, so maybe you're in a situation where you're needing to mirror your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac to a Roco stick. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process in how to do this. Before we dive into this video, if you will, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in today's tech video, I'm going to show you how you can take this guy right here. This is a Roco Express Plus and how you can mirror any type of Apple device to your TV, making it uh, very easy for productivity or um, you know, maybe just wanting to get some bigger screen real estate whenever you're watching something on your iPad, your iPhone, or if you're working off of your MacBook. So I went out and bought this Roco stick here. Now this isn't the cheapest Roco stick here. This is the Roco Express Plus. They do have one that's a little cheaper, but I'll tell you why I went with this one instead of the cheaper one. Uh, this one here has uh, a remote that's got a power button on it so you can turn your TV on and off and on the side you can control the volume. The reason I did that is because I hate having two remotes. I hate having to turn the TV on with one remote and then use the Roco remote to turn down the TV or, or uh, turn it off. I like to do it all with one remote so that's why I spent the extra like 10 bucks uh, to go from the cheapest Roco stick to this one here. Uh, now they do have other higher tier Roco sticks, but you don't need that to achieve what I'm looking to get. So I'll link this in the description down below of where you can get it, but let's go ahead and dive into the process and how you do this. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your remote and grab your iPhone, your iPad. Okay, so we're on the Roco uh, screen saver screen. We're gonna go ahead and hit home, take you to the home screen. First thing you wanna do is go over to the settings bar over here on the left hand side and you're going to want to make sure that you're on the latest system settings software so you're going to go to system and you're going to go to system update right there now as you can see i am on 9.2.1 uh, is what i'm on so that's the latest on this one as of today um, i just um, up or got this installed so that's the latest software update as according to this video so you want to make sure that you update now um, and make sure you're on the latest system update all right so next you're going to want to go now let me take you back home as if you were doing this from the beginning go back home go to settings okay go down to system and then you're going to go over here to screen mirroring and then click over all right so it takes you to the screen mirroring over here on the right hand side you'll see where it says prompt uh, so that way when a device tries to cast your TV or screen, a prompt on your TV screen will ask you to confirm. Or you can go to always allow uh, so that when a device tries to cast your TV screen, it will automatically be connected. Or you can go to never allow. So uh, what we're trying to achieve on this is to screen mirroring. So we want either prompt or always al allow. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and select prompt. Okay, next up you're going to want to go to your Apple device here. So I'm, I'm on my iPhone and let it focus in. Okay, and then download the Roco app if you haven't got that installed already. Go ahead and download that and we'll open it. Okay, now it says easily cast your photos, video, and audio to a connected Roco device on here. Um, just so you know, this is like the, as soon as you open it up, this is um, kind of like the home screen. But down here on the bottom right, there's media and then that brings up this screen here uh, mirror so we're going to go ahead and hit connect now it's recognizing that I have two different Roco um, devices in my house so I'm going to go to that second one there that's my the Roco Express Plus that I was talking about <clears throat> so tap on that now it takes media on the Roco so we're going to go to videos we're going to give access allow access to the photos and it's loading Okay, so it's got all my photos on my phone here, so I'm just going to pick one. I just took a random one of my cat. Um, I recorded it for the purpose of this video here. So it says loading video, retrieving, and voila. This is the video I took on my phone of my cat playing with a Nerf dart, and now it is projecting right here on the TV. Easy peasy. 
All right, so yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, that was the short little clip that I took and it's projecting right on there. Okay, so that was a super simple way of how you can mirror your iPhone or any type of uh, Apple device to your Roku Stick TV or your Roku, your Roku TV or your Roku Stick. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. And that's my dog. <laughs> so all right, until then, get out there guys and be creative.